Now, China has denied any knowledge of allegations that it's behind a social media campaign to discredit Hong Kong's protest movement. Facebook and Twitter said that they had dismantled a state-backed campaign originating from the mainland to spread misinformation about protesters. A Chinese foreign ministry spokesman gave this response when asked about it at a regular media briefing. Facebook and Twitter suspended nearly 1,000 active accounts linked to the alleged campaign. Twitter also said it shut down another 200,000 accounts before they could inflict damage. It said the accounts were specifically trying to sow political discord in Hong Kong and undermine the legitimacy of the protest movement. Giving examples, Facebook said that some posts compared protesters with militants from Islamic State or branded them, and I'm quoting here, cro cockroaches, and claimed that they planned to kill people using slingshots. Now, both of those social media networks are blocked in mainland China. Our Beijing correspondent Olivia Xiong has the view from there. Over here on the mainland, the narrative is being tightly controlled. Now, when the protests first began more than two months ago, there was silence here from Chinese state media. Very little was reported. But as the situation continued to escalate, as tensions escalated, the focus has turned to the violence of the radical group of protesters. And here we saw many videos and posts and articles on, for example, the national emblem being defaced as well as the the airport being crippled by protesters, as well as the Global Times reporter being mobbed and assaulted by protesters as well. So that is what many Chinese here in the mainland are seeing and is why they are so opposed to what is happening. What has also been allowed to flourish in the Chinese online space is a lot of pro-police, pro-Hong Kong police sentiment, and it continues to push the narrative that there is foreign interference uh, in what we are seeing in Hong Kong. And so so what we are seeing in the online space and what Chinese are seeing is very much what the central government line has been.